And developing tonight accusations that D.C.'s housing authority has a culture of corruption. D.C. Council Member Robert White's making the accusation. He's calling on D.C.'s Inspector General's office to investigate allegations that the housing authority leader has called isolated incidents. Our political and government reporter Leonard and Fleming reports that White says he's intent on getting to the bottom of this. Council member White said today that DCHA residents, they deserve better, especially from an agency that is under tremendous federal scrutiny. But executive director Brenda Donald said, look, her agency isn't perfect, but it isn't corrupt. These allegations are not simply personnel issues that can be resolved by firing the employees involved or drafting conflict of interest policies and sweeping it under the rug. This is at-large council member Robert White at his own news conference about landlord and contract steering and illegal voucher distribution at D.C.'s Housing Authority. He is chair of the council's housing committee. A whistleblower recently tipped off his office to wrongdoing at the troubled agency. When taken with several other internal investigation reports, the Committee on Housing has received from the agency paints a picture of extensive unethical and illegal behavior occurring throughout the agency. Among his chief complaints, a DCHA employee illegally giving vouchers to friends and family at the rise at Temple Court building and collected fees from applicants is supposed to be used for residents who have been displaced. The evidence suggests that a former DCHA employee who was supposed to oversee providing vouchers to displaced former residents gave those vouchers to friends and family who were not even, some of them, district residents. DCHA Director Brenda Donald pushed back, calling some of these allegations isolated incidents. We take all allegations very seriously, and I have acted on every single issue that has been brought to my attention. Donald says her office has also referred allegations to the Inspector General's office, too. We have zero tolerance policy for fraud, and if we find anything, then we will come after you. This is not widespread corruption throughout this agency. But Keisha McDougal, a DCHA voucher recipient since 2018, begs to differ. It's a culture of apathy. They are constantly gaslighting and lying to the voucher, you know, the voucher holders, the, the pub public housing residents. These aren't isolated incidents. If, if they are, those are just the isolated incidents that got discovered. A spokesman with the D.C. Inspector General's office says they do not comment on any investigation. They won't even comment on whether they're even looking into any type of allegations. Uh, any findings that, that this office finds and deals with would eventually be referred to the Attorney General's office. Reporting in the newsroom, Leonard N. Fleming, D.C. News Now, back to you.